subtle. This week on the Star Wars Show, Andy sits down with Marvel Comics editor Jordan D. White. We strap in for some high-speed Star Wars trivia and much, much more. Now, from the Lucasfilm headquarters, it's the Star Wars Show. Hello, I'm Peter Townley. And I'm Andy Gutierrez. Welcome to the Star Wars Show, or as will now be known as the internet show responsible for the Anthony Daniels set decorator credit on IMDb. Did he get a credit for that? You'll have to watch the end of the show to find out. Let's go to the news. Two brand new international posters from Rogue One, A Star Wars Story were revealed last week, and they are, for lack of a better term, really pretty. The first comes from Japan and shows Jin Erso on the beach while the Death Star looms overhead. The second, from South Korea, features the newest batch of rebels making their way down a lit corridor with weapons drawn. You can check out both posters for yourself on our official Facebook page. While we may be a week away from the release of the latest issue of Marvel Star Wars in which Han and Leia attempt to hijack a Star Destroyer, we've recently learned that Yoda will play an important important role in the story beginning with issue 26. During an interview with StarWars.com, series writer Jason Aaron revealed the new story finds Luke reading Obi-Wan's journal in which he learns of a mysterious and powerful Jedi Master. A Jedi Master that just so happens to be Yoda. Ooh. Also revealed was that the story in the journal will be depicting an adventure taking place in a pre-Phantom Menace galaxy on a planet we've never seen before. You could check it out for yourself when Marvel Star Wars 26 hits shelves later this year. I wonder if Obi-Wan's journal has anything else like secret love letters to Ventress. Oh, Ventress. Oh. <laughs> Saturday night, it's my head yeah. cannon. <laughs> Saturday night marks the long anticipated return of Star Wars Rebels to Disney XD with an hour long season premiere episode. And to celebrate the return of the Ghost Crew, the Star Wars show has managed to get our hot little hands on an exclusive, never before seen, unless you were at the Star Wars Celebration Europe Rebels panel, clip from the season premiere. Enjoy. <laughs> You? You! Last time we met, you were captain of a top secret Star Destroyer. Now you run a junkyard? Your capture and execution will mean my return to ranking status. Yeah, get ready for another demotion. I'm asking nicely. Unlock those bombers now. Welcome back to the Star Wars Show. Today we are joined by editor from Marvel, Jordan D. White. Thanks for coming by, Jordan. It's my pleasure. Thanks for having me. What exactly does a comic editor do? I work with everyone involved in making the comics at every stage of the way to make sure that the work is uh, done well and on time, basically. So first I'll work on casting the book by coming up with who we want to have work on it as a writer, as an artist. Uh, I'll talk with the writer about what should happen in it. They'll write a script, I'll read it, I'll give them notes on it, we'll go back and forth like that. Mm -hmm. Once it's a script that we, that we all can agree on, we pass it to an artist, they'll turn in pencils, we'll give notes on those if we need to, inks, same thing, colors, same thing, and then we bring it all together with lettering, read it, make sure it reads well, and then hopefully get it to the printer on time and out to the readers. Which of the Star Wars series are you working on right now? All of them? All of them. Every single one? Every single one. So that's Star Wars. Darth Vader is just about to end. Right. Poe Dameron. There's a Han Solo miniseries that's still going on right now, very close to finishing. There's a Force Awakens adaptation that I'm overseeing. And the unannounced secret ones that we're working on, I'm mm. going to be on all of those. <laughs> <laughs> What's the process like for working on a Star Wars book? Is it different than other titles you've worked on with Marvel? It's only different in that we'll work with Lucasfilm at every stage. Mm -hmm. So every time we get in a script after I've read it and I've given my notes on it, we send it to publishing here and they send it to Story Group. Mm -hmm. And then we get notes from all of them that we can incorporate in. And they'll, they'll talk to us about things that might be touching on things that are happening in other media and other movies or in animation going, oh, can you not do that part? Or, hey, why don't you use this character from another uh, story or from another thing that that would fit really well. The Darth Vader series is ending its two-year run very soon. Do you have any personal highlights from that series? Because oh. it was a really good one. Yeah, I love that series. It's so wicked. I, mm -hmm. I love it. It's so dark and sinister, but like in kind of a still fun and funny way. Right. Kieran Gillen, I, I have often said, we, we lucked out because we got an evil genius to write this book. Recently, I've been thinking a lot about the character of Thanos, Inspector Thanos, mm -hmm. who is this brilliant detective, basically, working inside the Empire. I I mean, I don't want to spoil too much, but the scene when he confronts Darth Vader about the secrets he's figured out is so amazing. I really love that scene. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's it was my pleasure super again. fun to talk. Thanks so and much. And I can't wait to see what you guys have in store for the future. Wait till you read Darth Vader 25. It's going to blow oh, you away. Oh, awesome, awesome. And you guys stick around. We'll be back with more Star Wars show in just a moment.
Peter, it's like people only do stuff to get paid. The following segment is an ad from our friends at Verizon. We're here at the Sonoma Raceway for the Verizon IndyCar Series because someone thought it would be a good idea to put us on a racetrack. Star Wars is all about things going fast, spaceships, pod racers. Sure, it's a natural connection. Yeah. So they are going to strap us in and we are going to answer some Star Wars trivia. What are we in for? I love this racetrack because it's very difficult to get right. It's quite slippery. You might experience up to 4 Gs. Unleash the beast inside of you. And use the force. And use the force. All right, guys, I feel the need for some Star Wars trivia. I consider it a moral victory for me, but... Next time, yeah. I want to drive. Now that was pod racing. You have been wanting to say that all day. I know. <laughs> oh, hey. what's up, Hey, oh. Looks like someone is a fan of their fan art. Ooh, Ooh they're fun. They're really good. So last week, we asked to see your cheese fan art since there wasn't any we could find on the internet. And thanks to the greatest fans on the planet, we remedied that problem. It looks like we got drawings of cheese as actual cheese, lots of cheese in love with cheese, and even an Admiral Akbar reminding cheese that stray chunks of Swiss on the floor can mean only one thing. It's a trap! This week, with the return of Rebels, we're going a little more coffee house with our request and want to see your reactions to the season premiere, but as a haiku. And in case you forgot that one week in English class that covered poetry, a haiku is first line five syllables, second line seven, and last line five. Here, I'll do one. Grand Admiral Thrawn is back on Star Wars Rebels. I am excited. Submit your poetic reactions to Haiku for Hera, and we will read our favorites here next week. And while you're here, make sure to check out the Star Wars After Show presented by Verizon, where I, along with my panel of Lucasfilm employees and Star Wars superfans, break down all the happenings in this week's episode of the Star Wars Show. Watch it this Thursday and every Thursday on YouTube.com slash Verizon. Finally, in rapid high-speed succession, so we don't miss a single plug, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Google+. Plus. Check out our Tumblr, Vine, our fantastic website, StarWars.com, or download our award-winning app. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you. <laughs>